Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn Human, Lady of the Realm. And today, I am doing a top five bizarre and annoying things I have seen on the road. The first one, well, let's put it this way. Have you ever just been driving along, looking up at the sky? As you know, we all see things like clouds, that's the blue sky itself, and then telephone lines. And then on those telephone lines, we'll see birds, great big orange balls that don't seem to belong there. Yeah, catch my drift. Anyways, um, and then, shoes, yeah, shoes, just hung precariously from, from that area, and you know, I respect Certain signs, if you get what I mean, but what is it with the shoes, man? What is it with the shoes? They don't belong there. Last time I checked, um, telephone lines don't have feet, so why the heck would they need shoes? And then, then when you cast your eyes down, you know, towards the road, so then you'll see like a random random shoe out in the middle of the road and part of me goes you know there's someone limping home today just walking on one foot you know keeping it out in the mud they only to get that damn sock wet should get the stupid shoe on if you're gonna do that you idiot <laughs> but anyways <sighs> yeah now Number two, people who cross in the middle of the road, especially when there are stoplights. Yeah, you've seen these people before, just go driving down, and you know, you and I both both know how stupid and dangerous it is, but this person just doesn't quite understand it, apparently. Okay? Yeah, th these these people are definitely under the annoying part of this list, but and not bizarre so much for annoying. Because, see, part of me feels that, um, not only is it far more safer and legal friendly to you to cross at the stoplight but at least it'll be on the driver yeah if he runs if he uh knocks you down of his car because he's not paying attention with his damn cell phone oh then all's well. You can just... I mean, yeah, you'll be in a cast for a week, but at least you'll know who to stick it to. Huh? Huh? So, from now on, folks, um, yeah, I, I saw this a lot at, well, one place I worked. I'm not gonna say where. I don't want to mention. But it used to get on my nerves, as I was thinking. One of these days, one of these days, that per is going to be one random person just walking along, just walking along, and then BAM! 204, a, a semi going 24 miles per hour, and it all hopped up on caffeine, who at the first stoplight just fell asleep at the wheel. Uh, they can't stop. It's going to take him down. Out time, no offense, but seriously, folks, cross at the crosswalk. 
Okay, just do us all a favor. Cross at the crosswalk. Thank you. Okay, three. And this is seen more on highways. And this is where it's really weird to see on highways. You know, you just you're sitting in the back seat and the person driving and you see like a person just walking on the side of a highway. I mean, albeit the highway's probably in this town. It's not like they didn't build a sidewalk, but you're just sitting there going Why? All of the, of all the things, why are you walking on a highway? They are kind of intended to have cars. I mean, everyone else seems to be driving a car. I mean, I guess if you live near a highway, I guess you're, you know, uh, you don't have a car, well, then I guess you're screwed, so... But anyways, still. And then, the prospects are also made weirder when you see someone riding a bike or a horse. As if the horse or the bike can, would compete with the speed of a normal car. I mean, horses can go pretty fast, that's what we judge uh, cars horsepower on in the first place. And so, yeah, that's probably where we got the term. But, that's usually to describe how, you know, the, I guess the power, whatever. Sorry, I, I forgot my science. This class, I apologize to those who taught me. It's not easy offensive, but it's still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Anyways. Next one, this one's more like... Really, really... This is more like... Stupid. Okay? Really stupid. And I've heard this complaint from so many people. And this one is more directed at you bikers. Again, and not bikers like, you know, little, you know, not the guys who are riding little uh, bicycles on, on, on the highway bit. I'm talking full scale, uh, Harley Davidson motorcycles. With, oddly enough, and with great sense comes and with great power comes less sense, I guess. Less common sense. Motorcycles. And apparently no helmets. I'm thinking it, most of the people I know are thinking in the back of their head. Yeah, sure, that bandana will protect your head from anything. And that happens. Sure, bandanas are built you know, to withstand and full on impact. Like full impact. <sighs> yeah, sure. <sighs> Full impact. Huh. Sorry. Accidents. So I guess I know where it ends there. Bikers? Just do us all a favor. Wear the damn helmet. I know you don't like having that damn helmet there. Especially if you're a woman. But, you know, maybe you would get less comments about it. Sorry. Anyways. 
Next one. This one annoys everybody, and I mean everybody, and their mother, and their sister, and their aunts, and their uncles, and their nieces, and their nephews, and their stepson-in-laws, their father-in-laws, their just everybody, okay? Oh, including their dog, too. Just saying. People who pass by everyone uh, in, in, in traffic so they can just by shock and awe it about a stoplight. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, you know, all is usually forgiven because, um, no one else could have died. No one else could have, you know, been, you know, taken down because of your fast impact driving. I guess the answer here, folks, is, uh, yeah. You ride a bike, wear a helmet, stay off the highway. And if sorry, um, if you are a pedestrian when you're on a bike or not, do not cross at the crosswalk. Okay, don't die. All right. In fact, that's actually a very good thing to say at the end of this video. Don't die. And stay off the road if you're an idiot. Okay. And with that, that's the end of this video. This is Evelyn O'Malley telling you to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and read my. WordPress blog and my upcoming fan flicks that should be coming up soon. Yeah, there's just no way to get around that sentence. Anyways, this, this is me, the Evelyn Omana, over and out.